What's up everybody, it's J-Dog from J-Dog Collects and today I have a little a bit of a different video for you. There's a lady, you know, the antique shop I usually go to, the lady that brings the books that I buy there, she is giving me an offer where if I help her price some stuff out for her, for her booth, she'll let me pick out what I want and just let me have it for helping her out. And I've been looking through some books. Here's what I found so far. Uh, first black suit tie-in reveals her, his identity to black cat and some Simpsons books and then I found this Doctor Strange number two I thought was really cool I'm gonna keep on digging and as you can see in this box it's a lot of a lot of older Luke Cage and these are really nice she said he collected and bought them off the shelves so all of these are really really nice let's see what else i can find i was looking in this box they had a bunch of they had a bunch of batman adventures they didn't stall around number 12 and i still ain't i don't know if it, it might still be in here but i'm not sure i'm gonna keep looking all right another box we're starting off with tales of the teen titans uh, number 41 looks like this bag has a bunch in them let's see if there's a first nightwing in here I think this is the one that was the Tales of the Teen Titans. Got 42, 43, and yep, 44. Yep, found it. I'm going to keep that one. Probably 43 too, I'll keep that. How cool is that, though? It's awesome. Let's keep on digging, see what we can find in there. We got number 45, 47, 48, 49, uh, 51, 53, New Teen Titans. New Teen Titans number one, annuals, Thor missing the cover, Thor 259, 260, all these bags kind of got stuck together, 262, 263, Four with Loki on the cover, pretty cool. Not seeing anything that sticks out to me. I'm gonna keep digging a little bit closer. If I find anything, I'll put it back on here. All right, now this box is labeled Marvel Team Up. Let's see what we got. 90, 91, I'm gonna grab that one. Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Mine. 92. Y'all know which one we're looking for is the 141 or Mockingbird. I don't think it's gonna be in here. Nope, just skipped it. That 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Uh, second task master grab that one they're all falling hold on alright we're back uh, Hulk and Kazar 104 Hulk and Power Man and 106 107 108 110 112, 113, 114 with the Falcon, 15, I had a good consecutive run, ooh, purse, purse, uh, press for power, I'm keeping that one, 
SFX, Gargoyle, 120, 21, I don't think it's going to be in here, but we had a nice little run of Marvel Team Ups in here, as you can see. The Tick One, Rex, uh, Simpsons Comet, Concrete, Nosferatu, Doc Savage. Just a, a lot of different uh, independent stuff in here. Alright, let's look into another box and see what we got. So, I'll stick into this box and take a gander at what I found. First, John Constantine. Look at that price tag from where he bought it from a dollar. That's insane. I'll keep digging and see if we can find anything else. All right, I hope you enjoyed the footage of me digging through the boxes a little bit. I didn't film a lot of the digging because it was kind of hard to film the way I was sitting and the way, you know, the, box, the books were stuck together in the bags and everything. So that's one of the reasons I didn't really record a whole lot while digging through. But this stack right here is the stack of books I'm going to keep in my personal collection for a long time. And uh, we got Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 87. He reveals his identity to Black Cat. You got uh, 88 and 89. And then number 90, the one of the first ties of the black suit, newsstand. I was originally going to keep 87 and 90, but I wanted the other two books to like kind of piece that story a little bit together but next book I got is a uh, Marvel team up number 117 I've been looking for this one it's Spider-Man and Wolverine and it's the first appearance of uh, Professor Power I just really love that cover and I was glad to find out like I said all the books that I've got she let me just have them for helping her out for helping her price the stuff and uh, organize it in her booth. And I, I really, really appreciate the opportunity she gave me to do this. All right, back to the books. Of course, you know, I love the old Ghost Rider run. I've been trying to fill that in. I found number 50. It's got a nasty spine roll right here, but it's a nice uh, filler, like reader copy in my collection. And then I found uh, Doctor Strange number two, and I thought that was pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It's got some like minor stuff on the edge. I don't know if you can see it. Not wanting to focus really, but just got some minor stuff along this side. But other than that, it's pretty solid. I got Marvel Team Up uh, number 91 with Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Now I think I have all the Marvel Team Ups with Ghost Rider and Spider-Man pretty cool then I found Beavis and Butthead number one I've been looking for this one for a long time for a good price and funny enough uh the first time I went through the boxes I didn't even see this in there and then uh, only, only after I took some home to start pricing them then I found this and I thought it was pretty cool I was like oh how did I miss that but yeah number one I found number 12 the Christmas uh issue so those were the ones I'm keeping. So now let's get into the ones I'm... All right, I'm going to keep these for a while probably. At least some of them. And some of them I'm going to sell like right away. But some of them I'm going to keep for a while just for the fact of... You know, just because I have them. But let's... I'll get to that stack right now. All right, that last stack were the ones I'm keeping. And these are the ones I'm eventually going to sell or sell right away. Let's see what we got here. Got uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 38, where Morbius gets cured of vampirism by being struck by lightning. It's a pretty cool cover. You got Spectacular Spider-Man 43, the first prince of Roger Kingsley, the dude who becomes a hobgoblin, or who was the first hobgoblin. You got number 69, the second cloak and dagger. I looked all over, but there wasn't no 64 in there. It's still cool to have the second and third appearances. Let's see, we got number 70, the third appearance. And then this one, you seen in the footage that I found. Uh, Swamp Thing 37, the first John Constantine. I still can't believe I found this. 
it was pretty cool. And Swamp Thing 49 is like kind of a cameo of Justice League Dark. And then number 50 is like the first appearance of Justice League Dark, or a version of Justice League Dark. And that's pretty cool. And then I found uh, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, uh, number 106. Sorry, I can't talk today. And it's the famous I'm Curious Black controversial issue where Lois Lane turns black. And it's, it's a solid, it's solid uh, shape. It's, you know, it's got some wear on it. It's got a little bit of water damage, but not bad, bad water damage. There's a big crease right there and some stuff in the bottom. And then I looked, I flipped through it to see if all the pages are there and all the pages are there, it's complete. But the top staple is kind of coming a little loose. But other than that, you know, it's like everybody says, other than all the problems with it, you know, it's a good book. But, but yeah, it's really cool to have this. I know this is a hard one to find. I couldn't believe I found it in that box. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The Swamp Thing 37 and that one are probably ones I'm going to hold on to for a while just because I like them and I don't know, you know, there probably won't be a time I'll ever come across them again. So I'll probably just keep them for a while just to say that I got them. But I will eventually be selling them. And then I found uh, New Teen Titans Annual Number 2, the first Vigilante newsstand. It's in really nice shape too. A lot of these books are, for just to be, have been in bags, they were in really nice shape. I found Tales of the New Teen Titans 43, the George Perez cover, everybody loves these covers. And of course, you know the next one, number 44, the first Nightwing, right there on the cover. I couldn't believe I found that one either. A lot of these books I really couldn't believe I found, like I said, a lot of these, this one and then uh, First Vigilante and the John Constantine, they were in just bags, no boards, and they still look really nice. This is a new stand, too. Yeah, this is awesome, though. First uh, Nightwing. Then I got uh, Power Man and Iron Fist number 66, the second Sabretooth. And... The box with this in it, it had the whole, pretty much the whole run of Luke Cage. There's, it's like missing a few issues, but a lot of it's pretty consecutive. And so this was in there, and then the third appearance of Sabretooth was in there, which is 78. And then uh, 84 was in there. It's like the, I think it's the fourth appearance of Sabretooth in second cover or something. Something like that. And then I found uh, Micronauts 8. And if you've seen one of my previous videos a long time ago, I actually went to the antique shop with us from the same lady's booth where I got this book. Like the same lady that I'm helping, I found this book in her booth in a three pack with six, seven, and eight in it. And I got this one, I got another one for free. So that's pretty cool. The first uh, Captain Universe. And I found, uh, they got almost a whole run of, uh, Master of Kung Fu in there, too. In one of the boxes, it's almost pretty consecutive. And I found number 29, the first Razor Fist. So, like, it's definitely, like, a little bit lower grade. I'd say about mid-grade. Some minor things here and there, but it's a solid book, all in all. Alright, then we get, we found, uh, I found one oh Marvel Team Up 103. Uh, Spider-Man and Ant-Man. This is uh, a second full Taskmaster newsstand. That's pretty cool, too. I love this cover. Then I got a uh, New Mutants number 18 newsstand. The first Demon Bear. And these, uh, these next few Hulks, I don't, I don't think any of these are keys. I'm not sure. I know one of them is, but this one isn't really, I don't think. Got 371, 351, uh, 374, he's fighting the thing, uh, 386, 372, yeah, I know this is like the Return of the Green Hulk or something, something like that, it's a cool cover though, it's a really nice cover. 
And I thought this was cool. It's Deadpool number 11. The Amazing Fantasy homage. And this is a really nice shape too. This one wasn't even in the bag, I'm, I don't think. I can't remember, but. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't ever found any like of the older Deadpool, like one of the first like ongoing series. So I thought that was pretty cool. Then I got a 428 Incredible Hulk. Coneheads number one, newsstand. They had like three of them. And I picked the best one that I thought looked the best. So I took that one. Then we got uh, Simpsons Comics number one. It's the first appearance of Simpsons in comics. Doing the Fantastic Four cover homage. It's pretty nice too. This one wasn't in the bag. All, all these Simpsons ones wasn't in bags. We got uh, Simpsons Comics and Stories issue number one. And then Radioactive Man number one. And then we have some Dave Stevens for any Dave Stevens fans. I recognize these books from watching uh, Lunch Money Comics channel. And I just grabbed these. Fifth Pacific presents uh, number one with the Rocketeer and the Missing Man. Pretty cool. And then I found uh, Pacific Presents number two with that cool uh, Dave Stevens cover. But yeah, that was the haul uh, of what I found so far. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I did good, found some good books. Let me know which book was your favorite, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.